Hey guys, Paul here. I'm going to give you a quick demo on Vimeo Pro. That's what I'm using. Um, how to upload a video, how to share it, how to edit it, uh, how to edit the settings. So basically on your phone, this is not for free. This is not the free version of Vimeo because I'm going to show you in Pro, which is the next obviously a level up from Plus, you're going to get more storage space, you're going to get uh, videos without banners, you're going to get priority conversion so it'll upload faster. You're going to get customization, extra options, more channels, advanced stats. Uh, you're going to be able to filter down which websites can share this uh, and embed it. And, you know, private link sharing uh, and priority support. So, uh, what I use it for is Blue Jeans Media's training courses. I put on video training and obviously then use Vimeo Pro to upload the video um, and filter to um, filter to who can see it, who can watch that video. So let me show you. PaulNicholson.com, let me log in. So I'm going to upload a video. What I'll do is, I'll, I'll actually show you here, look. So I've got this Evernote video that I did yesterday. Let me upload this to, so this is it on my website via a YouTube share. So let me upload that, oh it's there, look. Upload that video, right? So I'm going to put Evernote. I'm going to give it a title: 2017 Beginner Tutorial. I call it a Beginner Introduction, right? And then I can put in here Evernote. I'm just going to copy and paste that, but you get it. right. So you can, right from here, you can set the privacy. So you can say anyone can see it on Vi on um, um, Vimeo. Only I can see it. Only people I follow this video. Only people I password can see. So you can set it from there. Um, I'm going to use it so that only people on my website can see it. Right. So only I can see this video. I'm going to leave it like that. Um, you might want to put some tags in. If you if it's a um, a public video then you may want to put tags in, right? But if it's a private video, you don't need to worry about tags because you're going to do it, you're going to embed it privately on your website. All audiences, you can put a language, but again, uh, it is English United Kingdom, and save it. And it'll up upload that video. Like that, this is priority uploading too, so this is obviously faster than um, what you're going to get if you use the basic one. So if you see, if you, if you use the basic, upload and it's slow it's because you, you don't get priority processing or whatever it called it right um so when that's done it's going to say edit settings yeah so i'm going to edit these settings so now we get into the funkier stuff right so this is the basic info we've just put in if i want to put a custom uh, thumbnail which is always a good idea i'll grab one i think i've got one well, I must have because it's on that video, isn't it? Downloads. Uh, this one. So that's going to add a custom thumbnail. I'm going to save that. It's credit. You can obviously put somebody else in there if they're a Vimeo. Right then, so privacy. So here's the custom thumbnail. Here's the privacy stuff, right? So what I'm going to say is, who can watch this video? So we've already gone through that. Only me. I'm, I'm, pro I'm locking this video down to only me. Right now, I've got this preset. Whenever I upload a video, all these fields populate. So, at the moment, it says paulnicholson.com, happy me, happy me. All my all my websites, right? So, if I don't want to embed them on this, just take these out. If I if I wanted to add another domain, you know, it, you know, you say I want to embed that Evernote video on my website, I'll put your domain. dot com, right, and that'll. Um, that I'll add that to that domain, uh, but it won't show in any other. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of all of them for now. Where is this video but only on site side choose? So um, I'll put the blue jeans media because it's not let me leave it blank, right? But I'm going to put it on paulnicholson.com. Oh, who can who can comment? <clears throat> only people I follow. But it's not a public video, so I'm not worried about that. What can people do with this video? Download it? No. Add it to collections? No. Enable reviews? I turn it all off basically. Because it's a private video, right? Collections, 
you know, that's I don't really use this, but if you've got um, groups and you've got albums or whatever, you've got um, you know, you've you've got a collection of videos you want to put it to, like playlists in um, YouTube. You'd add them there. I don't actually use them. Right, the embed's interesting. I'd have changed it. Um, <clears throat> so you basically, when it's when it's uploaded, it'll you'll have a picture of your video, and you just get your embed code here, right? So uh, I may come back to this set because it's easier to show. So you can turn things off. So this is my default: play bar, volume, and full screen. That's all I show. Uh, I turn off the like. I turn off watch later. I turn off share. I turn off embed. Um, I turn off this this information in there too. Well, it'll process in a second. I'll be able to show you better. I have a custom color, and then I have a logo that I set in the corner to show up. Right? Show logo during playback. Link this logo so I could in theory put a link here, and then that would be paulnicholson.com. So if anybody clicks on the logo, they come to my website. Uh, before video, you could put something in if you want to. After during information, you know, if you want to put, um, it says email captured onto it. I upgrade to business, so I can't do that anyway. That's why I've never done it. And after video, you can put, um, you can put videos at the end. So I'm going to save that because I'm going to come back to it and show you again in a second. Um, so if I embed this code now, right? Let me. My website keeps loading, it's doing something funky. So, <coughs> if I go to text in my WordPress and embed that code and then the video, it says, look, sorry, this video will be available. Oh, sorry, it's not processed, right? So it hasn't quite finished processing, which I should have probably picked a shorter video. So if I go to that video on my website now, <coughs> Be here, right? Sorry, this this video will be available soon. All right, so let's hopefully hopefully it's not a massively long video. I don't think it is anyway. Um, so let me pause you, and I'll jump back in when it's processed. If I if I go back and just click on here, it actually shows me how far away processing is. So it's thirty three percent done. It's going to take another fifteen minutes. So I'm going to go for a coffee. Um, it's a longer video than I thought. Maybe I should have picked a shorter one. Um, I don't think it's more than maybe a 20 minute video. So it's showing you how long it's going to take. Um, Saturday morning, it's probably slow. So I'm going to go for a coffee. I'll be back in a second. Right, so it's all processed. It didn't actually take um, 15 minutes. It was a bit faster. So now, if I go back to settings and if I go back to embed, now you see the actual video, right? So the play bar is obviously this bar at the bottom. The volume is here. Full screen is this, so I could turn that off. I could turn full screen off. I could turn the volume off, which would piss people off. Well, I don't know if it would actually, because you never actually go to the volume on the video, do you? Uh, and you could take the play bar off, turn that logo off, and then just make it a completely plain um, video. Now, if I go back to this video that says "Sorry, processing," it now should say. There's a problem with this website; it just keeps loading. It should say, uh, hey there, the play to play your video here, change its privacy settings, right? So I turned off um, allowing to play on that website. So people just can't grab your videos and, and run the code on their website. I have to give it um, an option to do that, right? So if I go back to, I'm not gonna save them settings. If I go back to privacy and now add paulnicholson.com, And then go back and refreshy. It should now. Uh, you are logged in and have permission to watch Congrats. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh, it's because you've got it private. Maybe I don't usually set it as private. So now it. Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm gonna get it doesn't. You, I've got something set wrong there. So only me. All right. So see how I've put. Who well, we can watch this video? Only me. So I've got to be logged in. So I'm going to put anyone. But no, anybody can see it because unless they're on that website. So if I change that, <laughs> it's awesome when we learn together. So if I go back and now refresh it, it just shows. It shows with that logo. This logo should be clickable and sends me to my website, which it does. 
Um, at the end of the video, there's a call out that should, it then asks you if you want to go somewhere else. Oh, my computer sounds like it's about to take off. Um, da -da -da -da, where's that? So embed, share, watch later. What's that button look? So you get this watch later up here, share, embed. Uh, I don't see what that adds. Uh, a like button, obviously like, watch, share. There's probably an embed code for privacy settings to probably stop it from doing that. <clears throat> profile picture, if you want it up there. Title, or title of the profile, title of the video. Uh, let users decide. So yeah, if whether you click it or not. So you see that, that, that those are the extra features that you can add. And I set all my videos up to, I, I save it as a default feature. So every one I upload has a set, um, has a set, the set settings. <laughs> so it all there's a default setting collection that I use that um, that add that add those settings. I'm just thinking, what um, where does that? Uh, oh my voice went a bit high pitched then. So the video file you can update, replace the video. So if you come, if you do it, if I do an updated version of that, I can change the video, which is cool. It means you don't have to change all the. Um, settings, uh, upload captions. So if you if you got a uh, closed caption, custom creator use before this string of number. I don't know what that means. An upgrade. I can't remember unless they've taken it off. I'm which I'm surprised. At the end of the video, it comes up. If it wasn't going to blow up. Right, turn him off because he's. At the end of the video, it comes up and um, it gives you a link to somewhere else. I can't see now where you set that. <laughs> oh, almost finished, almost finished. Come on. There, look. So there's a button that takes me to happyme.com. So I have set that somewhere. Now. It has to be in here, but they changed that. They've just changed how this box looks. Uh, stats, presets. So like, see, I've got a training embed here. So when I go to training, it, it's it, that's what it sets me up as. It's just a, it's a blank um, format. Well, I, yeah, they've changed the screen, and I don't know where that. So I don't know where. So if anybody knows where you put in that that button to, to, to URL at the end of it, maybe it's maybe it's a global setting and it just works like that on every one of my videos. But uh, I think hopefully this video's helped. I know it's got a bit flaky at the end there. So you could you've got complete control of what buttons to show, what bars to show, information at the top, which websites you can embed that on. Um, uh, you're going to get full stats on who's viewed it, how many people have viewed it. I don't actually look at them, to be honest. Um, so I think stats is here. Related collection. Oh, no, that's collections. That shows you how much I actually use the stats. It's probably this button, is it? Play. It's obviously a new video, so I haven't got any videos that I can share. I don't, um, I don't look at the stats on Vimeo. But you, you get, oh, see stats, see all video stats, right? So you can see in here you'll get uh, video stat. I've seen it used, but it's got a bit flaky this now, isn't it? But you can see how many people have viewed it, how many people have viewed it to the end, uh, and where they are and stuff like that, what they've viewed it on. But because I look at my website stats, I can see who's been where. So I don't actually use Vimeo stats, but maybe I should. So I hope this helped. I know it got a bit flaky. Sorry for that. Um, I think you're getting the gist of how easy Vimeo is and that just those extra settings you get. Um, if you've got any questions, I'm sure you have, just ask them below. I'll jump in and answer. I usually record a quick video reply for you. Um, you know, if there's any settings, if um, if you know where that end screen um, link is, let me know. Let me know 
what you're using Vimeo for. Why are you here? Why have you got to the end of this video? Um, if you're going to use Vimeo for something, let me know. I want to see what you're up to. I want to. I'm interested in in what you're going for, what your um, training is, or what your videos are, um, so I can watch them. And you know, we can we can connect more. I want to get I want to get more involved with this community and and help you out if I can because I believe you can do anything you want. So uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you're going to use Vimeo for. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Go get them. Cheers.